Well, hello again, everyone. Juice Bags here. Uh, as I mentioned in my wind-up endless mode video yesterday, I just could not stand being uh, 250,000 away from the number one high score. Couldn't settle for number three. So, I'm back in wind-up one more time. Okay, now I'm changing doing a little bit different strategy than yesterday. I've got all the same gear, same exact loadout. Um, I've got dwarves and archers back here in the back. Now instead of building out that huge barricade mess out here and across, instead I am just putting up some dummy barricades in the front. Now, my goal here is to completely choke these two entrances off. I want them just to be wrecked when they make it through. So as you see, this uh, there's not much that's going to make it through this entrance. Now, I don't have it fully buffed out yet, but I'm essentially going to make this entrance so that it uh, is capable of wrecking some face also. Um, what I'm going to add to this entrance is another grinder there and there. I think I have enough coin. I'm going to put something in these three spots, which will probably be spikes. And then across that wall right there, pointed in, I'm going to put the web spinners. Now that leaves the top. Now up top, I have nothing. Because I want all of these mobs to make it through and go into my traps and I'm going to use these mobs to try to build my combos. Now I have seen uh, a couple of 11x's and a couple of 10x's which I'm pretty excited about. Of course I uh, am really hoping to see a 12 here before this runs done. So it's wave 25 right now. It's at the last break. So uh, let's go ahead and go for it. Now, I'm not going to make this a really long video since I just did the whole thing yesterday. So I'm going to do a wave and then skip forward until, say, wave 35 or 40 or something like that. I don't want to uh, bore you guys too much. But I just wanted to get a little uh, video documentation of uh, what was hopefully the wind-up high score on Endless Mode. Whoa, bad time to run through there. Down below. Got a little money bags coming this uh, this round, which is They're nice. All right, so I didn't see any sappers this round. Does not bother me a bit. And there are some resers. Well, I guess I want to leave them for now. There's a nine, nice nine X. Mr. Frosty there didn't give up much. Although I haven't, uh, you know, no, I did see the 10s and the 11s, but um, not a super abundant amount of them. However, there's an 11 right there, and a 9, very nice. However, my average combo, I think, is higher, so I, I believe I'm doing a little better. Now, part of that is luck, of course, with my traps being synced and going off, you know, together at the correct time. Now instead of going out, because I want to just rack up the combos, this time around, uh, from this kill box here, I'm going to just completely keep stacking it with dwarves. Time until, to go to work! Uh, it is very dwarfy. In, in fact, until I hit the guardian limit. Now by not putting anything up here, I was hoping that I'm going to be able to pluck off some of the sappers. Alright, these gnolls are good uh, combo opportunities, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften them up just a little. And let them in. What are we yeah, five and a seven. At this point, I'm not really gonna scoff at a five or seven. I'm just gonna take it because I have seen 
have seen some nice combos, so. Yeah, play that little Rezzers. Is he gonna come in? I just assume they'd be dead. Now the Fire Ogre's course are a bit of a challenge with the big, uh, not necessarily a challenge, but they don't, uh, it's a little tougher to get the big combos on those guys. Because I'm a basically fire-based trap. If you see, uh, in comparison to yesterday's videos, there's a lot more 7 and 8s going off, which is kind of nice. Go. I have time to get this up? Eh. I probably could have, but fuck it. Down below. Yeah, once I get maybe one or two more uh, barricades for a little fluff out front, then I'm gonna really start uh, going ha hot and heavy with the dwarves. There's a 9 on that Frosty. And a 6 on that. Okay, and this uh, should be my only problem. That is these goddamn mages. So many of them. My gosh, there was a 10 on Mr. Armored. Seems just impossible to find the mage's heads. I really need to be focused on these guys that are up in my kill box, but. Mm. I'm gonna have to just get out there. I think. Ugh. The mages are such a pain in the ass. Thank God. Stabbing time. Okay, now I've got to get this up because I'm missing combos here. How about some of this? All right. Now that was really a crucial part of that box there. Down below. Combo. Just go ahead and give it a little bit of love in here. Wow, that's a lot of really death. bad. Uh, frame rate spike again there. It seems like it's just this map. Yesterday I thought that maybe I had some Windows Update crap going or something, but... This map's just... I don't know, something seems not quite right about it with the... the frame rate. Check out that combo! Now you see I got some... Five, six, and sevens popping off there. These uh, fire ogres just don't like taking any damage in my traps here. Yeah, really bad performance. Here, I'm hoping. Uh... Let's go. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more barricade here, here and another there. Then I just want I want to put something in here to uh, start softening up some of these guys. I guess that's that's all I'm gonna get for right now. We got the uh, gr grenadiers, which. As everyone knows, I have no problem with killing outside of the box just because they're so goddamn irritating. And don't forget, I haven't, uh, I've failed a bit in this department, but, you know, I've got several dwarves that are getting a little, uh, low on health up the front, I'm sure. You can vendor those guys, you can sell them in between rounds, so. Just like barricades, you, uh, you're gonna lose a little coin off of it, but of course. A dead dwarf does us no good. Okay, got 11 men a little bit further. Although I 
hate to do it. Gotta do it. I don't like to mess around with these elementals just because they they lose all their afflictions when they break apart. Yeah, like this two a little a little too close for comfort. Now of course the dwarves do uh, wreck those guys up a bit, which is nice. They'll like this one. Let's go. Let's go with that for now. Next two things I probably well, I really need to get more dwarves up, I think, but if I was to do anything else next. It would probably be to put it's another web spinner and another zap there. With Wait, wave 30. Yeah, see, that gives me some sixes and sevens a little bit outside of my kill box. Now, this is a shitload of elementals, so I'm not going to mess around with these guys. I'm just going to start putting them down They're almost there. outside. Now, as soon as I make it through this, uh, this level, we're going to go ahead and jump through. I don't want to uh, now, how many was that? Now, have you guys there. watching something you just watched yesterday. Got me a little money bags coming this round, which is going to help me out quite a bit here. Now I'm going to have some coin, so at the end of the, when this round's over I want to try to maybe sell a dwarf or two that's low on health up in the front. I really need to be, so I need to start I seeing some more uh, 10s and 11s here quickly. Because this this run, the way I'm doing it, I'm being very going to be very aggressive about the combos here, so... I don't necessarily have the survivability. I did my survivability run already. Killing season! Oh, didn't get embendered. But it looks like those front three, those three guys, are uh, hurting just a little bit. Head down below. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put. Voila! I live for mass or killing. And then let's get another dwarf going. Down below. I don't wanna I guess it's better to sell those dwarves even if you don't have the coin to uh try to get these crossbow guys down right away. I don't want them doing any undo damage. Or unneeded damage, I must I guess I should say. Oh, I just lost an archer. What a shame. Come on, man. They're almost there. There's some eights. Like I said, need uh Combo. Uh, I really didn't want him to get res like that, but he did. I'm gonna try to talk him into staying up in the traps here. At this point, you're better off you dying and losing the three rift points. Than um, losing any dwarves or archers. Killing season. All right, I got rid of two of them. I got enough to put one back up. I really, I need a uh, large influx of coin right now. In fact, I right now I think I'd rather have a couple more dwarves yes. than those two. Head down below. Maybe a bunch more elementals again, unfortunately. 
Huh, the archer that died is one of the ones in the back. Crossbow guys are getting a little tougher. There's quite a few crossbow guys that come from the top. Wow, taking a little bit of heat there. I don't want my my guys getting wrecked out. Fun here when most almost there. Kill streak. All right. Anyway, I keep talking about it, and I'm not doing it. I was planning on sitting through a wave or two, and then jumping forward, and not making boring you guys with this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop forward, say, I don't know, a bunch of waves. See how, uh, see how this goes here. I, clearly, I need uh, some more stopping power in my kill box here, so that's what I'm going to be working on for the next several waves. We'll go ahead and jump forward. Alright, I went on and pop back in here. I know it's uh, not the wave 40 that I promised. It's wave 38, but uh, things are starting to go a little bit ugly. I lost the majority of my dwarves that last wave. As you see, the corpses. So anyway, I thought I should probably pop back in just in case this doesn't doesn't go a little bit better. And I have gotten a bunch more um, 10 and 11x combos, which was nice. Still, uh, didn't see another 12. There's, there's a 9. That one's a res now, I think. They're almost there. Yeah, see these, uh, trolls are getting messed up. Let's go. Let's throw down another dwarf here. Yeah, there he is. Sappers heading in. Got some sappers coming. Hopefully, they're not coming from the top. Although I'm sure they are. Head down below. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, ha ha. For the weak ass 4x. Oh well, what can you do? The armored ogres, I still like to soften them up a bit. Okay. Got some barricades getting wrecked up. The enemy? Oh, only a 7. I saw some purple shit flying. Where is that mage? Ugh. Yeah, these mages, man, I tell you. They are real, real irritating. You just... Seems like you can't get... Find, the, find any heads. Oh, there was another nine. I was really hoping to see a twelve, but... You just gotta get so lucky with them. Let's go! They're almost there! And wave 40. Let's see where I can throw a dwarf. Okay, so I've still got three standing archers. One, two, three, four, five, six standing dwarves. So my kill box is, uh, Taking quite a beating. Double check. Ooh, yeah, I got some barricades getting fucked up too. Badly. I need to do something here. I get a money bag this round. Granted that I uh, survived this round. Alright, Frosty, way too low on health to make it in here. Yeah, he's down. So 
some of these guys I almost need uh, like medium and light uh, orcs to come rolling in for the combos because some of the big guys with the exception of the frosties they're uh, I just can't kill them quick enough come on in alright let's see what we do here Kill streak. oh no yeah they're they're overrunning me a bit here Definitely don't want any more dwarves down. See, it's a shame with the money bags. If I could just survive this round. God damn it. Yeah, I'm fucked. Classic. We've lost the dwarves. I'm just at this point. I would, I would much rather. Much rather just die a couple times than to lose that last dwarf. Yeah, all my dwarves are down. So I'm gonna survive wave 40, but. Killing season! Yeah, get a barricade off there. Luckily, yours can't jump. Down below. Yeah. Sad sight. So now it's 100% survival mode. I don't it's have enough uh, stopping power in my kill box to really do They're much of anything. Bye bye, evil guys. So I'm just gonna uh, figure you have to res the most irritating fucking out there. Now that's killing with style. Yeah, this is uh I'm glad I popped back in. This is this is going to be the end here for sure. But I just want to see yeah. what that score is going to be. Sometimes I amaze myself. Hmm. I may actually get lucky and survive this wave. But I'm not counting on it. If any of, if either of these guys get in, it's. There will be no survival. Five brick points left. Yeah, there's no way. There we go. Guess I can sucker him back out here, can I? Bit of my zoom got stuck. Yeah, there's the last one. Oh. Let's one go. red point. Let's see, I got two archers left. I got gnolls coming. Great. One rift point left. They're almost there. But don't you dare even think about trying to res those guys. Gonna uh, do what I can to keep 
keep them back as far as possible. Just play this uh, this last wave in complete survival mode. If I can get that elemental beat down. Now oh, that fire ogre still at full health too. back there, huh? That's a shame. Just sucker this fire ogre back out here. Oh, come on. Wow. Nope. Turning around. Come on, Mr. Fire Ogre. You know you want to run back through those traps one more time. Wow. Check out that combo. The crossbows time. are out of control. And I actually have another dwarf up. My gosh. If I can get these gnolls down here, we're going to try to collect coins and maybe I'll get another one. Oh, so that's lots of gnolls incoming here. Oh, my dwarf is dead already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too many nulls. Oh, and this will be the end of me. Alright, I think it's 2.5 million I need to get. Made it through wave 42 to 43. Bam, 2.7 million. That's got to be a new high score. Yes, it is. Awesome. Anyway, I'm not going to... Obviously, that score from uh, Mari Mari is quite bullshit at 1 billion. So that will be deleted soon enough. And that will put me number one for wind-up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.